The balaclava is um, a ski mask and it was used originally to um, protect against the cold, uh, but now we've come to see it in a different light. The work I exhibited was very specific to um, this new body of work that I've been now working on for about a year and a couple months. I uh, showed work that was based on a photo shoot that I had done with my friends in Portland. I brought uh, ski masks with me just to see kind of what would happen and uh, all of us got together and uh, I asked my friends to put it on and we did a photo shoot and uh, I took pictures of them um, walking on the beach and hanging out in the beach house and riding tricycles and holding hands and sitting on couches and lounging about. Um, and it's all based around masks. And um, for me, it's about hiding and um, kind of about dual identities, um, kind of the identity that we all hide, this kind of secret private identity. And then this second identity where, you know, people uh, put on a mask and show to the public and to each other. Well, my technique is a colored pencil on paper. So it's, it's very much about um, this layering, this kind of obsessive layering of, of color uh, over and over and over again, which is very similar to that of a painter. And I still very much consider myself a painter, even though um, I draw. And I think that the line is blurred a bit, and I like to kind of play with that. There's a, presti a prestige that comes along with, with that award and I feel as though it's, it's the top students in each of the schools and uh, hopefully, you know, galleries will, will see that and hopefully, you know, lots of people will see that and recognize us as, as uh, professional artists. I feel like San Francisco and in the art scene is very much about a community and I feel like some arts is definitely a, you know, stronghold in that. I've connected a lot with um, CCA students, Berkeley students, Stanford students, um, and I'm still friends with them. I see them out at shows. It's funny how you go to school for like a year and a half and for, you know, two years of grad school, and you're in classes with all these people, and uh, it's not until kind of the very end that you start to really make solid relationships. And I'm kind of looking forward to all of those people growing up with me and hopefully they'll stick around and we can kind of make a community ourselves as well. Mm -hmm.